Real quick before this video starts, if you could please just head over to my website. My new song, The Other Side, is coming out May 13th. Don't miss it. Now back to the video. Gentlemen, everyone, welcome back to the 12th annual Hunger Games on this channel. Today, we've got a lot of candidates, and by a lot, I mean 36. So let's go down the list, shall we? In District 1, we've got me. Uh, you already know I'm gonna lose, so why are you even rooting? Cherry and the real Jakku. In District 2, we've got House of Pain Jr., Miki, and Amanda Young, otherwise known as the Pig. The reason we threw her on the team is because we boop the snoot every day. In District 3, oh my god, we've got Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, and Jason Voorhees. <laughs> well, I know who's certainly gonna win this one. In District 4, we've got Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails. Out from the big screen of the theaters, they are now here to fight in the Hunger Games. In District 5, we've got Bully Maguire, Bully Garfield, and Bully Holland. Sounds like a party. In District 6, we've got Taiga Aisaka, Shoko Nishimiya, and Sakura Hirano. A pretty powerful team from the last episode, but the only thing that could drag them down is Sakura. In District 7, we've got Kate Denson, Jane Romero, and Fang Min. Three survivors straight from the Dead by Daylight survival group. In District 8, we've got Marinette Dupan Chang, Carmen Sandiego, and Kim Possible. What could only be described as the lead female protagonist of their series. Or rather, the lead character. In District 9, I got a request to do some ice characters, so I thought I might as well. We got Jack Frost, Elsa, and Frozone. Look at that man. Tell me that man is not beautiful. In District 10, we've got Joan Jett, Joey Ramone, and Janis Joplin, otherwise known as the J-Rockers. In District 11, we've got Cynthia, Diantha, and Lusamine. Very powerful female Pokemon team right there. And in District 12, help, I'm out of ideas, we've got the Cenobite, Peter Dinklage, and tonight's big loser. Guy keeps coming back like a freaking cockroach, dude. You can't get rid of him. In three, two, one. As the tributes stand on their podium, the horn sounds. All right, first things first, me, Diantha, Michael Myers, and Jason Voorhees are sharing everything before running away. How did this happen? Like, how am I on good terms with Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees? Jane Romero runs away with a lighter and some rope. Uh, Jane Romero, are you okay? You got something sadistic going on in your head? Like, what? House of Pain Jr. finds a bag full of explosives. Well, if he starts to construct a shack, he's literally gonna craft the House of Pain. Lusamine Cherry, Miki, and Sakura Hirano share everything they gathered before running. So, we're already forming teams. I'm with Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and the champion of X and Y, and my sister is with Miki, Sakura Hirano, and Lusamine. Freddy Krieger grabs a shovel, knowing he's about to bury someone six feet deep. Knuckles kills Kim Possible with her own weapon. I would have thought he would have used his fists, because, like, his fists are powerful enough to punch through walls. Surely he can punch through a human, but like, he, he had the audacity to kill you with your own weapon. How do you feel right now? Bully Holland, the real Jakku, and Bully Garfield work together to get as many supplies as possible. Well, seems like uh, they replaced Bully Maguire with the real Jakku and formed the brand new Bully Squad. The Cenobite grabs a sword. Uh, why do you need a sword, dude? You literally have chains as a weapon. Day one and tonight's Big Loser and Fang Meme work together. Miki sets off an explosive, killing me and Peter Dinklage. Okay, how on earth did me and Peter Dinklage fall for the same trap? And why isn't Miki of all people setting off an explosive? Where did you get the explosive? Bully Garfield, The Real Jakku, and Cynthia unsuccessfully ambush Bully Holland, Marinette Dupinching, and Frozone, who kill them instead. Wait, what? Bully Garfield and The Real Jakku ambushed Bully Holland? Weren't they all on the same team? What happened there? Joan Jett becomes the Huntress and kills Kate Denson. A man young attacks Michael Myers, but he manages to escape. Oh my gosh, two killers going at each other? Both stealth killers too? Lusamine attacks Taika Isaka, but she manages to escape. Cherry kills Carmen San Diego while she's resting. Oh my gosh, I always knew my sister was a murderer. Eight cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Kim Possible, me, of course, because it wants me dead as early as possible. Peter Dinklage, Bully Garfield, The Real Jakku, Cynthia, Kate Denson, and Carmen San Diego. Night one, and Bully McGuire just goes to sleep, while Amanda Young cries herself to sleep. I mean, it it's gotta be from all those Saw movies, right? Right? House of Pain Jr. receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Wow, this guy's got explosives and a hatchet. What is his plan here? Like, is he is he gonna place, like, traps all over the arena and someone's just gonna step in it like the trapper, but instead of trapping him in a bear trap, it just explodes him? 
Joey Ramone, the Cenobite, Miki, Taiga, Isaka, and Fang Mead sleep in shifts. This looks like a powerhouse team, and I am very afraid. Especially of Joey Ramone. That guy is scary. Only joking, by the way, I love the Ramones. Sakura Hirano tries to sing herself to sleep, but she can't because she's useless. Day two and Fang Mean tries to sleep through the entire day. Tails, despite him having two tails and has the power to fly, falls into a pit and dies. How do you mess up that bad? Taiga Isaka tends to Jason Voorhees' wounds. Why? Lusami and the Cena bite Joan Jet and House of Pain Jr. hunt for other tributes. Sakura Hirano scares Sonic off. Okay, how? Jack Frost, Janis Joplin, Marinette Dupinching, and Bully Holland all raid Elsa's camp while she's hunting. Gotta get rid of that Queen of Ice somehow. Michael Myers makes a wooden spear. Okay, yep, he's becoming dangerous, guys. We've really gotta be careful now. Cherry bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Ugh. Oh. You see, this is why I tell you, you gotta be responsible. You gotta look after yourself. Two Ganon shots can be heard in the distance. Tails, who literally had the chance to stop himself from dying, but didn't. And Cherry. Night 2 and Miki receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. The Cenobite lets Bully Maguire into his shelter. Sakura Hirano attempts to climb a tree, but falls to her death. Lusamine shoots a poisonous blow dart into Joan Jett's neck, slowly killing her. Okay, Lusamine, how did you find a poisonous blow dart? I want to know where you found that, because that is wild. Joey Ramone unknowingly eats toxic berries. Wow, that... How do you unknowingly eat toxic berries, my guy? What's wrong with you? Frozen tries to sing himself to sleep. Tonight's big loser convinces Sonic to snuggle with him. Well, fanboy's gotta get his comfort somehow. Fang, Mean, Jean, Romero, Marinette, Du Ben Ching, and Bully Holland all sleep in shifts. Knuckles sees a fire but stays hidden. Michael Myers receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Day 3 and Jack Frost just fishes. Amanda Young scares Miki off. I mean, think about it. Those stealth killers, man, they're pretty scary. I'd run away as well. Lusamine defeats House of Pain Jr. in a fight but spares his life. That might be a mistake. If Cameron comes back to kill you, Lucy, I mean, I will not feel sorry. Jason Voorhees overhears Elsa and tonight's big loser talking in the distance. Uh, maybe Elsa feels bad for him? Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Sakura Hirano, Joan Jet, and Joey Ramone. Night 3 and Frozone quietly hums. Shoko Nishimiya and the Cenobite hold hands. Well, rather, Shoko holds his chain. Miki begs for Elsa to kill her, but Elsa refuses. House of Pain Jr. and Freddy Krueger huddle for warmth. Okay, um, Cameron, I have many questions. Why why him, of all people? Marinette Dupin Chang poisons Knuckles' drink, but mistakes it for her own, and dies. I mean, I get you're clumsy, but I didn't think you were that clumsy. Like, good god. Jason Voorhees accidentally detonates a landmine when trying to arm it. That, that's just unfortunate, my guy. Day 4, and tonight's big loser collects fruit from a tree. Guys, Shoko is dangerous. She held hands with the Cenobite, now she's working with Michael Myers. Elsa steals from Jack Frost when he isn't looking. You guys are on the same team. Come on, it's literally just called sharing. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Marinette Dupin Chang and Jason Voorhees. Night 4, Freddy Krueger, Bully Maguire, and Shoko Nishimiya discuss the games and what might be happening in the morning. Guys, I'm telling you, Shoko Nishimiya is dangerous. Lusamine begs for House of Pain Jr. to kill her, and he doesn't. That might be a mistake. If Cameron comes back to kill you, Lusamine, I will not feel sorry. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Jane Romero attempts to climb a tree, but falls onto Fang Mean, killing them both. Well, I guess they lied when they said Thick Dyes save lives, because Thick Dyes just got rid of this life. Day 5, Shoko Nishimiya tries to spear a fish with a trident. Elsa scares Miki off. Janice Joplin tracks down and kills Bully Holland. Michael Myers bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Michael. My guy, you got the lamest death in the whole game. I'm disappointed. Taiga Isaka strangles Knuckles with a rope. Oh my gosh, I think that's just called animal abuse. House of Pain Jr. intends to Amanda Young's wounds. Wait, she's a killer. Why are you giving her back rubs? Monkey mutts fill the arena. Bully Maguire bleeds out after getting his funky soul ripped open by a monkey mutt. Janice Joplin survives. Jack Frost uses House of Pain Jr. as a shield from the monkey mutts. Aw, oh, Jack, that's just despicable. The Cenobite survives. Lusamine survives. Elsa dies from internal bleeding caused by a monkey mutt. Miki survives. Amanda Young survives. Frozone survives. Shoko Nishimiya survives. Tonight's big loser is pummeled to the ground and killed by a troop of monkey mutts. Aw, oh, that is a brutal way to go down, man. Diantha survives. Taiga Isaka survives. Freddy Krueger survives. Sonic dies from internal bleeding caused by a monkey mutt. No matter how fast I run, I can't escape myself bleeding out. Ten cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Jane Romero, Fang Mean, Bully Holland, Michael Myers, Knuckles, Bully McGuire, House of Pain Jr., Elsa, Tonight's Big Loser, and Sonic. Night 5 and Jack Frost starts a fire. Uh, Jack, that's not a good idea. I think you're literally going to melt. 
Janice Joplin destroys Miki's supplies while she's asleep. Wow, that was rude. Why would you do that? Frozone attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Well, gee, I wonder why. It's not like he's an ice character or anything. <laughs> Jack Frost. Lucimine sees a fire, but stays hidden. Yeah, you probably see Jack Frost, and he's going to melt. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Jack Frost bashes Frozone's head against a rock several times. Just... No mercy whatsoever. Just get out of here. Shoko Nishimiya decapitates Diantha with a sword. Guys, I'm telling you, Shoko is dangerous. We need to be careful. The Cenobite catches Janice Joplin off guard and kills her. Okay, we're literally at a point where there's just no mercy anymore. Straight up death. Freddy Krueger repeatedly stabs Amanda Young to death with size. Really, dude? You have knives on your fingers and you use size. Taiga Isaka stabs Miki in the back with a trident. Oh my gosh. That's why I say you always gotta check behind you. You never know when some small girl with a freaking trident's gonna spear you in the back. Musumin falls into a pit and dies. Okay, this event has literally just been death. Day six and Shoko Nishimiya collects fruit from a tree. Arena event. The arena turns pitch black and nobody can see a thing. Oh my gosh, how many events are actually gonna happen this round? We've had monkey mutts, we've had a feast, now we've got another arena event where the arena goes pitch black, like... Wow. Freddy Krueger survives, Taiga Asaka survives, Shoko Nishimiya accidentally makes contact with a spiny lethal plant life. Uh, I have never seen that death before. Jack Frost survives. <laughs> the Cenobite trips on a rock and falls off a cliff. The box. You opened it. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Uh... Rest in peace? Eight cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Frozone, Diantha, Janice, Joplin, Amanda Young, Miki, Lusamine, Shoko Nishimiya, and the Cenobite. Night 6 and Taika Isaka loses sight of where she is, while Freddy Krueger lets Jack Frost into his shelter. Day 7 and Jack Frost enters himself. No one died. Jack Frost, Freddy Krueger, and Taiga Isaka get into a fight, and Taiga Isaka kills both of them, leaving Taiga Isaka from District 6 to be the winner. Thank you guys for watching this episode of The Hunger Games. Tune in next time where we will literally have all 12 victors compete to be the ultimate winner in the next episode. Everyone gets two chances, so you better not mess this up. Or maybe three chances, or maybe even four chances. We'll see. Anywho, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go lie down now.